and we're bearing the lead here. We get LeBron James versus Steph yeah. Curry, Steph Curry legacies. You know, not on the line because yes, these guys is. are. Yes, it is. Okay, it, well, what's it's on totally. The line? It's on the line, and you know it. You've <laughs> yeah. been in this business long enough to you <laughs> yeah. know that people are going to jump to conclusions after the series. If you, if if somehow, okay, which well, way, which way does this go then? If Steph Curry beats the Lakers and wins the title this year, what is now a trickle of people who think that Steph Curry is the number two player of all time will become a raging river, and people are going to start putting Steph Curry either right there with LeBron or ahead of him. Now, that's an if he wins the title this year because that will be the fifth for Steph. Okay, so it can't just be about winning this series against LeBron. No, that's not it has enough. To, he has to go on and also win the title. And that's here's, a small thing. And here's why I think there's a possibility that it's not only this year, but moving forward. And it goes directly against something you just said. Steph has 0.0 athleticism, and it's not yes. going away because it was never there. There, he's Tom <laughs> Brady. He is sense. Tom Brady of the NBA. Tom Brady was never fast, never had a big arm, so there was nothing to decline in his later years. Steph Curry cannot dunk the ball, is not fast, can't play defense. None of that's going to decline. He's just going to be out there doing old man trick shots under the basket <laughs> and hitting 50-footers yeah. till he's 39 years old. So not only does he have a chance this year, but he could add titles, maybe two or three more, in which case that sheer number of titles will push him way above okay. LeBron. Well, first of all, he hasn't done that yet. They're still tied with four apiece. <laughs> Fair. He hasn't added multiple titles. <laughs> Yet. I'm not going to argue on that point. <laughs> but here's the thing. If, all, if it was only the number of titles that could put you in the running for the second best player of all time, then Robert Ory would be the second best or Bill Russell, who you could make an argument for Bill Russell. But that's not what it's about to me. Like LeBron's already got Curry to me and nothing that can happen in this playoffs or this year is ever going to change that. Even if Curry wins a fifth, I, I don't think that he gets past LeBron. Can I just, like, can we just stack it up for a second? Wait, what about a sixth and seventh? You're just saying, I mean, Curry's got, Curry goes crazy the next five years, which is unlikely. I mean, the next five years, he's 35. Right, but he's got old man game. It's so great. So does LeBron, though. So, like, LeBron's no, still LeBron, matching him. LeBron needs that power, though. Okay, LeBron does need power, but that's, like, so now you're seeing a little bit different of a LeBron game, even though he just had 20 points and yeah. 20 rebounds for the first time ever in his career. Like he's still making this sort of history in his own way. But like LeBron James is definitely the better all around basketball player than Steph Curry. They don't even play close to the same position, although LeBron does bring the ball up the floor a lot and can play point guard too. But like LeBron James is an 18 time all NBA uh, okay. Steph Curry's an eight-time All-NBA. LeBron's made six All-Defensive teams. Are we just going to not, like, we're just going to pretend like defense doesn't matter? If you're, if we're giving this as an offensive ward, then okay, maybe well, Steph Curry could could have him. But LeBron also does it on the other side of the floor, too. Sorry, what's the Steph Curry defensive play from yesterday that made any difference? What's the difference if you're hitting 50 points on your opponent's head? I don't care what kind of defense you play. I know, but, like, it's not just, if you're just talking about scoring, just scoring. I'm talking about winning. Okay, but LeBron's done as much winning. They're actually literally tied. Their record head to head in the regular season is ten to ten. I saw, and also, but right now Curry has the record uh, in the playoffs. I believe he leads like fifteen to seven or something. Because Curry had better teams than the, some of those LeBron Cav teams. Well, okay. Here's the thing. Steph Curry is a better shooter. There's no doubt. Outside shooter. Curry might be the best shooter of all time. Right. But Curry, the most important number to me in all basketball is effective field goal percentage. When you let the ball out of your hand, what percentage are you of getting your team points? And Steph's at 58%. LeBron's at 54%. LeBron's huge and plays in the middle. He should have a gigantic shooting percentage advantage. And he doesn't. Because Steph just creates so many points for his team. I know. And listen, to Curry's credit yesterday, he was in the paint a lot yesterday. And he mm -hmm. was scoring a lot of those two-point stars also hit seven threes yesterday but LeBron also has the shooting like it's not nearly as good as Curry but he can also shoot he's a four-time MVP to Curry's two-time MVP he's a four-time finals MVP to Curry's one-time finals MVP I mean he's made 10 more all-star games not that that matters he's been playing longer it's just you can't tell me like if you're just saying by shooting yes but basketball isn't just shooting basically to me Steph Curry now, he has to win one this year. <laughs> if he okay. wins one, he's yeah. just proven he does things that win you titles more efficiently than LeBron James. If he can win, this year would be a feather on his cap, but it'd be an incredible achievement because this would be really just him. Uh, and they're very similar to last year, except for some reason everyone's getting older, except he isn't. Yeah. If he could do it this year and win a fifth, 
then I think you're going to have a great argument. See, I think LeBron checks the same boxes well, in terms of, like, the do-it-allness. But LeBron is clearly, for them to win a title, we keep saying he has to be the second-best player on his team. He needs Anthony Davis. In year 20? I mean, well, in year Ste 20, that's that's not like a, you know, Steph doesn't that's not a knock. Steph doesn't seem to need that. I mean, he's 35. I know, but Jordan couldn't even make the playoffs when he was 38. So oh, are we going to start? Oh, interesting. Oh, you already have to no, go. Uh, but I'm just telling you, I'm just saying we all, we say that Jordan's the greatest of all time, yeah. right? Number one, far and away. Although I'm, you know, right. of the LeBron camp, a bit. I say more. I under. I know that Jordan is incredible. That's not today's argument. But if we're talking about LeBron has to be second fiddle now at 38, I'm just saying the greatest of all time, Jordan, after taking three years off in the middle of his career and then taking more years off after he retired the second time and then coming back, still couldn't make the playoffs at 38. Well, so, right. like, I can't knock LeBron for being just the second best player on the team at 38.